you mentioned, you know, the undying love that your fans have for you. <laughs> um, many people would describe Brazilian fans as intense and passionate. Do you agree with that? Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think um, I'm kind of a passionate person. So uh, I think I think a lot of times, you know, uh, people, even like in like, you know, in meeting a person, you know, I think they kind of tend to mirror what you put out. So, right. um, you know, so I am, um, I, I, I like to get what I give. Cute. When I wrote Lost on You, um, I played it for my record label and they were like, this is <laughs> bye. <laughs> well, they were very wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Sorry about Big that. Big mistake. Um, yeah, so then, uh, and then I just, you know, I actually didn't have a, such a great time then. I, I kind of mm -hmm. wandered around feeling bad for myself. I just tattooed a f ship on my chest because I was like, just to feel something. Fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. It was f painful as hell. I, so, can, I can believe it. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, like, I think people think that I thought that this was like, ah, you know, like, th and, and this was that maybe my lowest moment. And then, right. uh, and then, and then Lost in New was a, you know, became a hit through, like, I signed a small deal and it became a hit in, all over the place, and then um, he and then was like, "Oh wow, you have a ship on your chest." I'm like, "Yeah, sure, yeah," because yeah, it was like trying I guess. To into the journey, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so it was like it was a really um, long story, but worth every single second, to be honest with you. Yeah, really, of course. You no, know, when did you first get started with, well, writing songs and just being in touch with music? Uh, you know, I was a little late to the game. Like, I wasn't, like, when I was, like, early teens, like, and stuff, I, thanks, Megan. And, uh, um, I was, like, I was kind of into, um, I was much more into sports. Mm hmm Cool. And, yeah, and then, um, I don't know, and then, uh, my mom passed away, and I was, like, you know what? And she was a singer. Um, she mm -hmm. loved to sing, but she didn't do it professionally, but she was an opera singer, studied opera. And I was just like, you know what? Life is short, man. Fuck it. Let's just try to um, sing. And then, and, then, uh, and writing songs was like kind of like, oh, where, do song, like where do songs come from? <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. Yeah, about babies and songs, but like, but I, uh, and I don't, I don't know anything about babies. I don't care about babies, but like, but yeah, songs were a uh, huge mystery. And then I embarked on this like, journey of songwriting and uh and it's been actually thrilling you know like um writing songs um is one of the greatest things i ever decided to do and not yeah. because uh not even because i'm 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 doing uh decently well at it but because it's so fascinating and i love it so much i have this new record that i just finished uh that's coming out this year that that's my my favorite yet you know and it's just like it's fun to uh it's fun you know to like um, get older and still have like you know a passion for something so it's cool I'm really excited yeah I try to um uh write like yes specifically but um also kind of like um you know um like like what do they call that when they're uh universal <laughs> right <laughs> you know yeah. what advice would you give to younger artists who don't really fit the mold um uh yeah i'd say use that to your advantage like be be the difference my god i'm doing a spin on gandhi's message be the difference <laughs> you want to be in the world you know what I mean? like you know like you're sick of seeing all the same be, be that be that weirdo you know and uh but back it up you know um keep like mining your soul for like you know the truth and for um your own your truth the thing that like um resonates with you the most and um and just keep keep i think like you know uh for myself i feel like with every year i get more and more concentrated mm -hmm. so i think by two songs you keep like kind of you know getting closer and closer to the core of yourself closer and closer to the truth so i i really feel like it's um you know um i use this analogy all the time but if you're a painter and you like have like you're like i'm a painter oh cool let me see your work <laughs> and you're like that one and that one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, two paintings? Now you're a painter? Yeah. No, you're not. You painted two paintings. You're not a painter. You gotta, you, you, painters paint hundreds and thousands of paintings. You know, yeah. And that's, I think, is uh, my advice. Yeah. That's good advice. Making, um, so. Writing, um, making songs because they'll lead to other songs. Yeah.
Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but what would you say is your truth? My truth? Yeah. Um, being comfortable in my own skin, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, uh, you know, guaranteed there's some, like, douchey, you know, sorry, big douchey fat guy in his face and like, look at that fucking guy, uh, what an ugly, you know? Yeah. <laughs> hey! I don't get a Right. You know? As you should. <laughs> enjoy being me. And, um, and I think it's, you know, quite evident. And, um, you know, and it wasn't always here, you know, and sometimes I'm like, sometimes I'm like, oh, man. And then I'm like, nah. <laughs> you know, I just, I try, you know, it's work, you know. Yeah. And um, I think that I, I, um, I'm, I'm self-expression at it's like, you know, and it's at, at a good level. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I'm definitely not not being me. Right. Good. <laughs> well, know, good like, for you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I mean, I really, um, uh, you know, I, I, this is like in this body, in this lifetime, this is how I feel on the inside. Yeah. You know, I mean, I feel like a six foot four dude, but. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's as good as it gets. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. On your music. <laughs> And on your performances, it shows that you're comfortable with yourself. And I think that's a great message to put out. I would wish that on anybody, you know, like, honestly, that is like, um, it's, it's gold, you know, it really is, you know, to feel just like, um, comfortable, you know, with yourself and, and, and you know, and, um, I think, uh, it, 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 it's like a, like it comes from within, you know, and you can yeah. feel it in people. You know, um, you know, speaking of being in tune with yourself, I want to talk to you a little bit about your lyrics because at times it can be very intimate and personal, really. So how does it feel like to put yourself out there in front of, you know, millions of people? Um, <clears throat> I have to say, like, it feels good, you know? Yeah. I um, That's the whole point for me. It's just like, it's like, I don't know, how can I say something very uh, vulnerable and um, and intimate, um, and have it kind of you know wash over you in a in a way that like kind of impacts you, but doesn't like make you kind of cr cringe. <laughs> yeah, you know? I think that's what like I think songs in general are like very like <clears throat> subliminal like that. I think they hit you in like different shockers, you know, for sure. <laughs> you know, like even like. You know, I mean, I've had you no know, hits, um, and uh, in other countries where, like, I know people don't really know what I'm saying, but I think they can feel me. Yeah, like, for sure. Voice, how I'm singing it. So, um, so yeah, I think there's a lot involved with, like, you know, it's like they, uh, you know, it's like why they make uh, cough medicine taste like cherries, you know, or whatever. Because yeah. <laughs> didn't have any taste, it would taste terrible. And so, so I think that's a song in a nutshell. You're like, you're trying to like blend like difficult themes and heartbreaking shit into um into a, a you know a nice little package that kind of like sinks in over time and that's yeah. you know and that's why like you know the goal is to write a song that like that people want to listen to over and over and over again obviously right. that's the whole point. and um and and each time i mean there's those songs that you know like you always wish to make that like every time a person hears it, it's like they're hearing another level or something, you know, yeah. like, I mean, I have my, my songs that I love like that, you know, like every album, like this new album that I'm sitting on right now, it's just like, a, um, I'm like, you know, just kind of, I try to <clears throat> take away the expectations of like, ah, oh, shit, you know, what, what are people going to think about these? Yeah. So, well, that was a beautiful analogy, by the way. Thank you for sharing that with us today. Um, thank you for sharing the class. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.